Well, hello, everybody that's stuck with me. This old Smitty here. So, yeah, it's been a while since I posted anything, and I apologize, but this video will probably be unedited. In other words, I'll probably just load it into the computer and upload it to YouTube. Um, because I, I've got a new software uh, editing program, and I haven't figured out how to use the thing yet. So, <laughs> so I'm just kind of winging it. So anyway, so yeah, we've had a lot going on, been through two hurricanes here just recently. Um, I've been fighting, we have, uh, let's see, since the deal, I ended up having to replace my HVAC system right back there, if I can get my finger to coordinate right there. All that's brand new because the my compressor started going out on my my outdoor unit so perfect time to do it because they gave me a good deal on it and they did some other things that was wasn't part of the scope but so we we bought a fifth uh, a new to us fifth wheel back in july camped with it one time it had extended warranty on it uh so we took it in to get a few things fixed that shouldn't have actually left to begin with and uh we just got it back yesterday uh and yesterday was the 18th they've had this thing for over three months uh and they only fixed two things on it which i'm okay with that for now but i want to show you some things that just it's really uncalled for so first things first, I'm going to flip you around here. All right. So I'm putting new cables on for the inverter because the inverter, uh, I didn't have any power when I got back. Let me get out here when you can see it. So this is my battery disconnect and it, uh, felt kind of funny when I put in it. This is one of the cables I've made so far. I got a new crimper to show you too. So anyway, I took this thing apart and lo and behold, I don't know if you can see it there, but that top terminal on the left is melted. Uh, that dude got hot. Um, and they had these terminals on it sorry about that duty calls okay so where was I oh now I know what I was going to do so when they had these these copper adapters so to speak where you can put the wire through there and pinch the bolt down but look at the color on that thing. Look at how hot that got. I mean, that's freaking scary. That dude was hot. And this is the main main lug going into it, and uh, this was the output, and it was it's covered up. But see, it's copper colored. And uh, but anyway, so I get the thing home, and I don't have any power to my inverter and I don't know if you guys have seen any of the other videos yet I couldn't decide whether or not I was going to post it on my iRock and Z channel or if I was going to do it somewhere else but this video for sure is going to be on there so let me grab these grab this door here again you're not going to get much editing but let me flip it around. All right, so there's my inverter. <clears throat> so one of the deals I wanted to upgrade was the fact that they didn't have the right size wire on it. They've got two aught wire on it. It's supposed to have four aught, which four aught wire is some big stuff. But anyway, so I couldn't, I couldn't uh, power everything up, and this is my battery set up i got two lithium batteries they're both 12 volt 
big old batteries and that's kind of my panel setup um, most of this was here when I got here I upgraded those two cables in between the batteries and so yeah I mean getting that straightened out I was kind of irritated that it worked obviously when it left but I get it back and it doesn't so yeah needless to say it's it's been a fiasco and so one of the other things they were they were gonna do is the more ride suspension it's got more ride spring shackles on it which they're a neat idea but they were both rubber was split I don't have the old ones but there they've put the new shank shackle dampeners in there and they got those all work so here's here's the big thing that I'm irritated with and get in here all right you can see inside my camper all right so there's the fridge they put in nice fridge it's a high sense but they only did like half the job so I mean right there look at that gap all the way around that fridge and then if you go over here it's still that's the the upper vent for the absorption fridge that used to be in here I'm oh, sorry that's blurry so it had a regular three-way fridge in there and there's one up there and you can see light down there that's the bottom one but then there's no trim here they took the trim off to get it in here but they didn't put the trim back on which that's irritating um i mean it's just kind of like everything was kind of left left halfway done and it's I, you know, I don't get it. I mean, to me, you need to take pride in your work. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're working on cars, you're working on campers. You know, do it and do it right. I mean, this camper came in pretty clean when I gave it to him, and it's absolutely filthy um, granted I know they're not supposed to to wash it or nothing like that but I mean holy crap I mean they could you know as long as time as they they took with this thing they could have at least washed it I mean they did they did waive the bill that they gave me and, and sent it out free but so as a technician, I mean, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's like fingerprints all over the side of greasy fingerprints. You know, there's a, there's kind of a, a mechanics oath when you work on cars, when you're done, it should look like nobody's ever been there. Uh, and that is definitely not the case. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this other door here because I'm getting ready to crawl in there. Get some air through there. but uh, And then, so the other thing is, is I couldn't find my cord because usually it goes on the other side in that deal. And so they hit just, they kind of threw this cord in there. Just threw it in there and say, here you go, have it back, you know. I just, you know, I wasn't going to do anything video on this, but it's just one of those issues where when you don't take pride in what you're doing, I mean, that's that's bad. I mean, that looks bad on you. Uh, I mean, if anything could have gone wrong with sending it out there, then it probably could. And... and I know you mean I mean for the time being I'm probably gonna 
not mention who it is. Um, we're going to see where this goes, but it is a, a it is a company that you've heard, and they've got places nationwide. So, and no, it's not uh, Lamona's place. If anybody's in the RV world, they'll know who I'm talking about. So, at any rate, yeah, I'm just kind of irritated with the whole whole shebang. Um, I did tell you I wanted to show you this new crimper I got, though, that's pretty bad to the bone. Let me get in here. And there's something else I got to fix. So I hit a tree root with my mower deck on my John Deere, and now it's got some clinking like there's a piece of metal that's broke loose. I haven't got into it to find out what it is yet, but... Uh, let's see here. And yes, you'll have to forgive the mess in front of my toolbox. It happens every time. Everything piles in front of it. But check out this dude. This is a hydraulic crimper. I uh, found it on Amazon. And this is the coolest thing. And it works so good for crimping these big old terminals here. Because these are these are four op terminals. It uh, you know if you've you've got these, I've seen guys fill these with solder before. In fact, I've filled them with solder before, and these are copper. They got a copper, they're just colored that way but they're actual copper i think that's to keep them from it's like an antioxidant to keep it from oxidizing and turn green they paint them like that but at any rate these things are if you use a crimper i mean you'll never have any problem with it like i said here's one of the, the cables i've done it comes with shrink tubing you can shrink it so I mean that's a that's a big honking cable. Four rod is just ginormous. But anyway, that's what that inverter calls for. So anyway, that's where we're at with things. Um, will I have any more automotive content? Yeah, probably someday. I <laughs> I don't know when right now. This new job that I got. Um, when I left uh, turning wrenches, uh, it's got an enormous amount of paperwork. Well, the only reason why it's got that much paperwork is the fact that uh, we are now a corporate-owned dealership, and they do things a whole lot different when you got a publicly traded company. So it's been interesting, but uh, they take care of us. So I mean, that's that's the big thing. We're just wanting to go camping more than anything. So, at any rate, like I said, this was going to be kind of a impartial, got gnats flying around me, uh, impartial, like, no, no thrills, no thrills uh, video. Kind of a quick update on what you, what I'm doing. Uh... But, you know, if you guys want to see uh, any of this other content that I do, any of the other stuff that I do that's outside of automotive, hit me up down there if you want to see, you know, some day-to-day -day stuff. And I'll try to crank out some more videos. Of course, there'll be kind of probably no thrills and unedited until I get a chance to sit down and work with the the uh, editing program. But uh, and I And I really appreciate you all hanging out as long as you have. And seeing me crush that 5,000 mark, hell, I never thought I'd get there. So, at any rate, this is going to be old Smitty signing off for tonight, or this afternoon, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but anyway, y'all be good. Take care of yourself and each other. Make sure to check in on loved ones, especially with all the the damage that had happened up in, and, and, you know, blessings to and prayers go to the the people in North Carolina that dealt with a devastating damage from Helene. 
um, that was pretty nasty. I mean, we fared pretty decent out of it, so they didn't. So, and then I hear of all the government trying to shoo everybody out uh, and said, don't go help them. Why would you not help your fellow American? Oh, by the way, get out and vote. Our lives depend on it. However you feel, I'm not telling you one way or the other, but get out and vote. It's, it's more important than you think it is. So God bless y'all. We'll talk to you later. Bye.